My Hero Academia Season 3, Episode 14, Create Those Ultimate Moves. What is going on, party people? It is I, Fomencio, back at it once again with a reaction slash review for My Hero Academia. It has been a while. It has been too long. I have been looking forward to this episode for the past two weeks now. Uh, last week's, or not last week's episode, the week before that was kind of a mellow, more chill type of episode uh, before we start the next arc. And uh, it looks like we're getting into the thick of things again uh, with this episode because of the preview and... You know, the second, the part two PV or whatever you want to call it. I believe we're getting a new opening as well, which is really, really exciting. I, I'm ready. I really am. I'm ready for some My Hero Academia. Things have been sad without My Hero Academia. Let's just leave it at that. So let's jump right into this episode as we normally do. Okay, this is, this is new. <laughs> Yo. I'm kind of digging this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was cool. This guy, I'm really excited to see. All those characters. Yeah, her too. Yo, this animation. <laughs> that looks awesome. Yo, this is cool. I like that a lot. Having Invisible Girl in the front is strange, but <laughs> that was cool. Oh man, an All Might hug. This is pretty feel good. It's pretty chill. I can dig it. Getting their provisional licenses, let's go. <laughs> Ultimate moves, let's go. <laughs> Cementos, good to see him again. Is that Ectoplasm? Was that his name? It's time to make this series even more shonen. <laughs> We haven't seen them in their costumes since last season. <laughs> Man. <laughs> like, just calm down, Ida. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Fine, move like this because I have a tail. <laughs> It's not a step up, boy. <laughs> That's actually kind of dope. I don't hate that. That's pretty cool. Man, that is a cool shot. This has got me a little curious. Yo, this track is awesome. That is so cool, man. Yo, oh my. <laughs> I don't have anything else to do today. Yeah, come on, come on, Deku, you gotta figure it out. This is good, guys, yo. This is like, give advice to all your students, just as a handbook. Maybe not try to imitate him? Maybe try something new? Yo! <laughs> wow. That was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> it's good to see Hatsume again. 
Just <laughs> yell this shit out. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> A power suit, let's go. It's baby number 49. We Tony Stark, boys. Wait, it won't stop. <laughs> I missed that someday. She's a good character. She's funny. I think that just gave Deku an idea. Not bound by existing ideas. He's figuring it out. This is so feel good, man. I love this track too. Oh God. <laughs> this is cool, I like this. Abyssal black body. Yo, that's hype. That's like a second form right there, let's go. Yo, AP shot. That's so cool. That's awesome. I love that. Yo. Yo, this track, man. This animation. Yo. That was cool. It's a kick instead, that's cool. There's that shot, there's that shot. Shoot style, let's go. Oh man, that was good, this is a new ED. Yo, this ED, I'm already getting feels, man. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. Oh, I really like this. This is so good. That was beautiful. Man, that was a good ED. That was a fantastic episode. It's good to have My Hero Academia back, bringing in those laughs, bringing in that great animation, great OST. It's just a good, refreshing, just like, yeah, My Hero Academia is great, remember? And I love it. I really did. I, I really, really enjoyed this episode. The pacing, to me, was the best part. Like, this episode felt like really, really long in a good way. Uh, there was just lots of different things happening. The stuff with Hatsume was really entertaining, really funny, and just quirky, no pun intended. Uh, I like that stuff. I missed Hatsume as a character. I missed seeing her sort of in the spotlight, and it was cool. It was cool having her there. It was cool uh, for uh, Deku to kind of get that inspiration from her as a character, and not just have it just as a moment for her just to shine and just be a character, but actually have her... Uh, play a part in Deku figuring this stuff out and actually you know, playing a meaningful role. I think that's really, really good. And I think that's something that uh, Horikoshi has done really well in this series so far is actually have his characters play meaningful roles in the story and not just be there for the sake of being there. Or like, especially with a character like Hatsume, because she could easily fall into that kind of character trope where it's just like, yeah, I'm here, you know, I have boobs, so people laugh at me and it's like, oh, I'll fall on top of Deku, har har har, it's funny. And that is funny, don't get me wrong, I think, I think it's done in a very tasteful, classic shonen kind of, you know, etchy vibe, and I can dig that. But she's actually a character. She, again, she actually means something to Deku as a character, and I'm sure this, this is going to happen later on. I'm sure that she is going to play a part in the story once again. And I like the role that she has there, and it's just it's just good to see her. I really like her. She's a different kind of character than, than all the other heroes, and I like that. Um, speaking of a different kind of character, Bakugo has changed a bit. Bakugo is is cooler. Uh, I, I love him in this episode. I really do. I love the kind of focus. It was what AP shot or something like that. Awesome. God, that was so cool. I think it was like this. And basically he focuses all of his like explosion power into one single point to basically shoot out kind of like a repulsor blast, kind of like a little Iron Man kind of, you know, you know the, the what's it, pulse beam or whatever you want to call it. That's awesome. Like, I love that kind of stuff. I love how he can just tear right through a wall. Um, man, like, I, I like how we're actually developing the characters in this way. I like how we're kind of focusing 
on Bakugo and Deku. Uh, a little bit on, on Ochako and, and, and Ida as well, but I like how Bakugo and Deku are kind of getting the focus. I hope that they're kind of the focus of this arc. I want to see that friendship uh, or, or rivalry between them build up through this arc. I want to see them kind of, kind of butt heads a little bit, but still actually be classmates and work together. Uh, because I know that this test thing, I'm not, I mean, I, I'm getting tuning exam vibes from this test that keeps being brought up. Uh, in the beginning of the episode, we see Aizawa talking about it, and he's like, hey, where there's this test, you gotta get your provisional license and everything, only 50% pass, like, this is stuff that I've heard from Naruto, I've heard it from the tuning exam arc, and again, that's not necessarily a bad thing, like, there's nothing wrong with the tuning exam arc, there's nothing wrong with the hunter exam arc and, and hunter hunter. This kind of stuff is, it, it just, it just flows very well with Shonen. Um, it's a little predictable, but it works to me. Like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I don't. I don't think it's copying anything. I think that it, it can work on its own as long as it, you know, does what it needs to do to set itself apart, of course. But I mean, but judging from the previews I've seen and stuff, it looks like it is. So, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up for sure. Uh, I loved All Might in this episode too. That's definitely something I should mention. All Might in this episode was really, really grounded and really, really kind of. I don't know, I, I like this kind of role that he's taking in the series now as kind of guiding his students, even though he had the handbook in his back pocket. Um, I thought that was really funny. This episode was really, this was funnier than, than the last episode, I think. The last episode was a very comedy-driven episode, but I wasn't, I wasn't digging a lot of the jokes, but this one I really was because it flowed better within what was happening in the episode. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, th I think that's pretty much it. I that's really all I have to say about the episode. It was really good. It was really entertaining. Lots of great moments. Uh, Deku now using his his uh, full cowling shoot style or something, and he now has his Gamma costume, costume Gamma or something. I'm not quite sure on the logistics of it all. I'm sure we'll get more details uh, next week's episode. But basically, he's using his legs instead of his arms, and that's really cool. He's moving faster. He's able to just... I don't know, he, he, that move where he jumped up in the air and did the spin and slammed his, like, a kick into that big, you know, rock thing that was gonna fall on All Might, that was awesome. That was really, really cool. That shot of him on the ground, like, I've been, that, from the preview, that part two preview, I was, like, waiting for that shot. I put that shot, of course, in my new opening as well. It's a good shot, guys, and I'm glad it was in this episode. That was a good moment. Probably thumbnail worthy, uh, worthy. Uh, so we shall see about that though and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it this was a great episode if I had to give it a score I'd probably give it around an 8 out of 10 maybe I'll, I'll, I'll give it a 9 I'll give it a 9 out of 10 it, it was good it was really really good really really fun really well paced uh, great animation great OST it, it's the usual My Hero Academia affair and again that's a good thing. Comment down below and give me your thoughts on everything that I had to talk about. Uh, let me know what you think of this episode. Let me know what you think of All Might kind of being in this role. Uh, Deku's new braces as well. Hatsume is a character. Let me know what you think of her. Uh, also, what you could do is hit the like button if you enjoyed anything that I had to talk about today. Uh, it means a lot to me. It really does. Uh, it helps. It lets me know that you're willing to support me. And um, I, I, I kind of have an ego. I'm a little egotistical, and the more I see those thumbs up, the more happy I get. I'm not going to lie. Uh, subscribing as well is a good way to be a part of the channel and support me. Uh, lots of cool anime stuff happening here. Um, Attack on Titan starts pretty soon, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, My Hero Academia is still going strong, and I have some gaming stuff in the future uh, that, that's really exciting and that I will talk about at a later date as, uh, as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.